Hi, I'm Chip Rung with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you're watching In the Know. We're here at the Cons Area High School, and they are preparing for the musical Matilda. And we're on the stage with uh, Keith Smith. And Keith is actually one of the tech ed teachers here at the high school. Good to have you here, Keith. Well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what you do with the musical. I think you've done this for a few years, right? Yeah, th this is probably my fourth or fifth year. And what I do basically is I assist uh, you know, the, the carpenters in the construction of the sets, you know, along with... In, I guess basically I help organize the students, okay. you know, so that they can actually, you know, together we, we cut and build the sets, the various sets. For and you shared you're good at making sawdust. Is what... I'm excellent at making sawdust. Yeah. Once in a while I get a project out of my sawdust, there... but sometimes also I get a sawdust. Yeah. <laughs> now you're a volunteer in, in this yes. role, correct? Yes. Yeah. So you, you teach here during the day and then come and in and the... stay here at night and, yeah. you know, work. Now, from, from talking to Michelle Harbaugh, the, the director, sh there's a lot of need for carpentry for this show. We want to talk a little about some of the pieces that you're building? Um, you can see behind this, you know, they've spent some time making the gates and uh, some bookshelves. Uh, we built uh, 10 desks that they're going to use during the show. And later on tonight, we're going to be building uh, a, the bathroom scene. And I know there's a bed to build, and we got a whole list of projects we need to make for this. Okay. And the students actually do the construction. The students correct? actually do the construction. Yeah. If I've had them, the students in class, I let them use the saw so that they can actually cut. Otherwise, if I haven't had them, I'll cut the wood for them, and they'll actually, you know, fasten it together, and we'll fasten it on. And that's more of a safety concern. Sa yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, yeah. you know, I want to make sure that nobody gets hurt. Yeah. How many students do you have working with you on this crew? There's about 20 students. That's that amazing. That's great. Set crew. Yeah, yeah it, it, we have a nice set crew this year. You know, when people come to the show, you know, they see things. You know, there's the singers and dancers and actors on the stage. But there's a lot happening behind the scenes too. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and that's where you folks come yeah, in. And I mean, these kids, you know, they put in hours, you know, into the show and never seen. Right until you know? the end. Curtain calls is about yeah, it. Curtain calls is it. Yeah, because they wear black when they're changing scenery around, <laughs> so you, so you can't don't see them. You can't see them. That's the whole idea. So, uh, any unique challenges for this show? The, the things no. that needed to be built that were unique? Um, the, the desk, you know, the volume of the desk was one thing that made a difference, mm -hmm. you know, that we had to build 10 of them. But, like, I cut all the pieces for them and I showed them how to uh, put them together and kind of like uh, Henry Ford, you know, we did a, a production line. Uh -huh. and, you know, uh, by the time I got the boards cut, they were all done with putting them all together. Well, that's great. Now, I understand you had a, a donor for the, someone donated the wood. Yeah, we had uh, my employer uh, that I worked part-time with. I sent them a letter and they gave us like $1,600 worth of uh, lumber and materials that we can use to build the desk. And that's Busy Beaver? Busy Beaver out of Mount Pleasant. Yeah, that's wonderful. That was a nice donation. Yes. And I guess it's the first time they've had a donation that, can, that, that large for, yeah. for material and, like that. And, and I said, you know, ask, what's it hurt? Yeah, and it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. No, yeah. it was a great thing to ask. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you're working on today? Today we're going to be building the bathroom scene. Okay. Uh, the, the, the his and hers bathrooms. Okay. And just like a, a double bowl sink. Um, and I'll take a crew down. We'll go down to the wood shop and, you know, we'll cut up. Uh, I'll cut up some of the material and the, the kids will fasten it all together. And, you know, and before you notice, you see in the background, maybe uh, you can see them painting the the, uh, the the sets and you know to make them you know look completely different yeah now when we arrived here today you were actually kind of getting the crew together and is that, is that a typical day yeah it's a t typical when we come in you know we, we discuss what we got to do for the day you know it, it's kind of like teaching school you got to plan what you're going to do before you actually do it yeah and I'm sure you do the same thing in your job that's yeah. okay you plan because you know you wrote up a, a series of questions so right. you got to know what you know, which, what the plan is for the day. Now, one of the unique things about sets for, for a, a production is they have to be able to be easily moved, mm -hmm. easily stored. So are, are there some challenges with that? Um, yeah, the, like, um, like, you know, we use a lot of casters. Okay. And that was nice, like with the desks. You know, I asked for 48 casters and, you know, I, I have to go pick them up one of these days. But, okay. You know, 40, so that we can wheel things. Although you got, we had a problem, you know, that we had to consider is like, how do you put wheels in a desk that the kids are going to dance on? Right. Because so it doesn't want, want, want to, <laughs> don't want it to move at certain yes. times. Yeah. <laughs> but in other times, we need them to be able to move. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, Keith, that you want to share? I mean, that, that you're working on, or you think maybe of interest to the to the viewers? No. I, um, no. I, I just think a big thing is, you know, these kids, you know, they put in a lot of time. Mm -hmm. 
don't necessarily get the recognition that you know the actual performers do. But yeah, but it, they're very important. Oh, absolutely. W w without I mean, without the show them, we go on without. It would not go on without. Or them. it wouldn't look as nice. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. They, they, they do a lot. You know, uh, our technical director she designs all the sets for us. And, uh -huh. um, well, I know Connorsville has a long tradition. This is the 52nd year yes. for them to do a musical, and, and quality has always been a, a, a big thing for them. So and I'm sure you have continued that. Uh, as you've we hope to. Yeah, yeah. Now, folks, if you want to see Matilda, it's going to be here at Causeway Area High School. It's actually March 3rd, 4th, and 5th at 7 o'clock in the evening, and March 6th, that's a Sunday, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And tickets are available here at the high school. Uh, there's a ticket office in, in the lobby, and they're open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11.30 to 5, and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to noon. And you can also get tickets online at Connorsvillemusical.ludus, that's L-U-D-U-S, Dot com. That's how you can get your tickets and come out and see what Keith and the students have been working on here. And also you can see a little bit of dancing and singing at the same time. Keith, thank you for your work. I'm Chip Rowan, and you're in the know. Connellsville Area High School presents Matilda the Musical. Winner of five Tony Awards, Matilda comes to life in this joyous show filled with comedy for the whole family. Live on stage at Connellsville Area High School, March 3rd through 6th. For online tickets, go to connellsvillemusical.ludus.com or visit the ticket office at Connellsville High School. Yeah.